Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome to my first look here at Fishing Barrens C. Now this is a brand new game coming out very soon to Steam. Uh, this is by Miss Games. A big thank you to the guys over at Miss Games for hooking me up with a key. This is being released under Astragon Entertainment as their publisher. Astragon are the people that got us uh, Construction Simulator and many other things. So yeah, really expecting good things from this. So I've already gone ahead and done the tutorial so I actually know roughly what I'm talking about. But before we jump into the game, I'll quickly show you the options. I know a lot of you guys are interested in options and stuff so we've got the audio stuff here got the master volume the music the effects the ambience the fact, i'm just gonna turn the music down a little bit uh, we've got video here i've got everything set to epic um we've got the camera stuff here so you can invert stuff if you want and do the uh, sensitivity we've also got the key bindings here i'm gonna leave everything at the moment as default so let's go ahead and press okay there so with that said let's go ahead and press continue career because like i said i've already done the tutorial and uh, we'll check it out okay buddy so here we are on our trusty little fishing boat now there is a lots of boats that we can choose from uh, on this game this is the starter boat here it's passed down from the grandfather that's the story behind it uh if i can work out how to show you guys uh, the new ones. This is one thing the tutorial didn't tell me. Um, we can go ahead and see what ones there are. So, okay, so I found out how to do it, but before we do that, I'm just going to go ahead and skip time. Um, obviously, you don't want to be doing this, but I'm going to skip to tomorrow so it's daylight, so it looks nice and bright for you guys like this. Okay, so let's check out the other boats before we get going. Once again, we're sticking to this one for now because this is the only one we can afford. This is the one we start off with. So what we're going to do is go to dock here. You have to go to purchase boat. And it'll take us over to this area here. So that's the one we're driving right now. The Borge. I think that's how you say it. Uh, it's got the funny little old thing. We've got the Starken, maybe? That's how you say it. So it's obviously a upgraded fishing boat. Listen, like, this style is quite popular to me in real life. So can't wait to get that one. We got the Catherine as well here, which is a pretty big boat, as you can see here. That's as far as I can uh, rotate around. We got the Lunabau, which is a... Well, this is actually pretty big, but it's not the biggest one we've got. We've also got the Hermes, and this is the Hermes right here. So obviously you can upgrade over time and get bigger and bigger. But like I said, we are starting with the tiny little Borge for now. So um, we can also upgrade the boat that we have. So this is our boat here. We can upgrade the storage. Uh, we can do three levels of that. We can do upgrade the engine, make us go faster. Upgrade the radar, the searchlight. At the moment, we've got the default searchlight. I'll get into all that in a second. And we can also have different masts as well. So uh, I'm not going to upgrade anything yet. I'm going to show you guys the bog standard one. So we are currently in a town called Hammerfest. And reputation is a sea hand. Now you can go to, if I go to town down the bottom here, you can go to the uh, bar and there'll be odd jobs in here. Boat services. So here you can do uh, naval towing. Unlimited free towing to closest port. So, um... That's going to be 10,000 kroners per year, and uh, use the radio to get that if you get stuck out in, uh, stuck out at sea. Here we've got the crew. At the moment, it's just... Uh, oh, we can hire someone, sorry. But at the moment, it's just us on the boat. Uh, we can also take out bank loans and stuff and repay bank loans, which is pretty cool. Um, so that said, let's go ahead and head out to sea. So let's click on Go Fishing. Um, there's also the map and stuff here. Actually, I'll show you the map. So this is where we are at the moment. It's a pretty vast map, as you guys can see here. So we can go to everything you can see here. Uh, there's a port all the way up the top here as well. I'm um, assuming if I get rid of this, there's another boat up here, open waters. Um, so yeah, pretty big map. At the moment, I can only go to this blue circle here. I can go past it, but I can only fast travel inside the circle here. So if we go to uh, fish population here, we'll go to all species. And let's go to, I'll tell you what, let's go to that little circle there. So let's go to place waypoints. Okay, so we've clicked go fishing and now we are in control of the boat. So uh, we can press V to go into first person and third person. I'll show you more of the boat when we're on the, when we're on the way out there. Um, let's go ahead and get it turned on and ticking over. We'll accelerate a little bit here. Okay, so as we head out of the uh, the port right here, what we can actually do is go to first person like so. Uh, if I let me show, just I'm not going to hit the rock before I do this because it'll be a bit awkward. Um, so inside the cab, what we can do is look around. So we've got the lights in front of us here, so we can switch off work lights. So turn on searchlight. Uh, switch on interior lights. We'll do that one now because you'll be able to see it straight away. There we go. That's the cabin, and we've also got running lights as well, which we're going to leave on. Uh, we've got the GPS here. We can change that to sonar if we like. So there's that. Uh, you can call for help on the radio here, which is what that 10,000 corona was, I believe. Let's turn the lights on so you can actually see. Here we've got the spotlight. Now, to control this, you just use Q and E. So there we go. You don't have to look at it. You can just control it uh, manually. So Q and E does the spotlight so you can look around. Um, now, this is the interesting bit. So if we press... Let me just make sure I'm not going to crash into anything. Minute. So if I press... Let me slow down. If I press F... We can actually get out and walk around the boat. So imagine when we get the bigger boats, this could be really, really cool. We can go downstairs here and just chill out. We can get the uh, the fire on for a bit of comfort in the winter because there are seasons in this game. We have uh, winter, spring, summer, and autumn as well. So different sorts of uh, for fishing there. 
We've got uh, winter, spring, summer, and autumn as well to go fishing in. So whatever season suits you best, you can go ahead and do that one all year round. Um, so this is the little uh, crew, crew area down here. We can go ahead and open the door as well and walk around the boat. So there's lots of things we can do on this boat. So we can go ahead and do the lines mining, which I'll show you when we actually put one out. Uh, here we've got the outside steering wheel, so we can drive from the outside here for outside work and all that good stuff. Um, let's have to get rid of that. Okay, so now I've showed you the inside of the boat, we nearly crashed, nearly. Um, so what we're going to do is go to place waypoint here, we're going to go ahead and place this one right here, and now we can actually fast travel to this location. There we go, so we should be right in the middle of that circle right now, let's go ahead and exit this. And now we are here in where we place the circle. Now hopefully I actually did bait up my um, my lines, because it would be a bit awkward. So let's go ahead and set gear down here. Uh, we've already done the tutorial, we don't have to do that. So we've got one line here, uh, baited with mackerel. Probably not the best one, but um, I just clicked on a random one. What we're going to do now is accelerate to drop this line. Like so. Once again, I love working in first person on this. So there's one thing I love about this game. Now, I'm not really into fishing in real life, but I was massively into Deadliest Catch game back in like early 2000s, I think it was. Fortunately, that game is not available now. Um, but this one is much, much prettier. So really glad that someone's finally released a good fishing boat game. So they recommend that's out for about 20 hours, I think the tutorial said, if I remember correctly. Um, so that's only been out now for, well, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. So we ideally want to come back um, probably middle of the night-ish, maybe. And um, that's the only line we've got for now. So I'm going to quickly show you around the boat one more time here. Okay, so whilst we're out here, say you've got lots of lines that you can put down. Uh, down here, we've got the GPS mode, which is what we're on here. This is obviously this here. You can also zoom in and out of this if you like. Uh, you can make it full screen. Of course, you can just press M if you want to do that as well. Um, now, we can change the sonar mode as well, which is pretty cool. And it tells us roughly where the fishes are and stuff. So we can drop lines down here. You see there's quite a lot going here. So we see there's a lot of activity. We'll drop the line here. Um, we've got storage. Of course, we've got no fish in just yet because we've not actually picked one up. We've got line info. We've only got one out at the moment. And um, we'll see the weather forecast as well. So today's Thursday. It's sunny all day. You get the winds and stuff here as well. Um, tomorrow's going to be raining, so that's going to be interesting. Um, here's just a lazy way of controlling the lights. I like doing everything manually because I'm a bit of a bit of an old man when it comes to simulator games like this. Hence the name of the channel. Okay, so like I said, it's currently 9 o'clock in the morning. Now, I don't think you can change the time for you. No, you can't. So what we're going to do real quick is go back to the port here. Now, it's going to say you can't cross land, so we have to go down to here first of all. We're going to go ahead and fast travel to there, and then place a waypoint to too close to the board. There we go. And we'll go ahead and fast travel to the port real quick, and then hopefully we'll be roughly in there. Pretty much. I'll give that a, a success. So what we're going to do is park inside this blue area here. I'll show you more about the dock and stuff when we're actually ready to bring fish back. So if you do like fishing, or you like boats, or... You like the, you can remember, you're old enough to remember the deadliest catch game. I think you'll really, really like this. Would you like dock at the port? Yeah, we will. So it's 9 o'clock in the morning, oh, it's actually 11.20 now. So we're going to come back at night time, which means I don't know how much you guys are going to see, because I've not actually uh, not actually set out at sea at night time. So I don't exactly know how dark it is, but we do have our trusty little spotlight. Um, in fact, seeing as it is going to be night time when we head back out, I'm going to see how much it is to upgrade this first of all, just for your guys' sake. I was going to get the speed first, but... Um, since I'm recording a video, like I said, we'll do the uh, spotlight first. Right, so. Let's go ahead and do... Dock. Upgrades. Where is the spotlight here? So, we can do this one here. How much money do we actually have? Where do I find that out? So, we've got 99,000 Corona. So, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to do number three. I'm going to do number two. Yeah, we'll do number two. Um, does that mean I've got it? Is that... Do I have to accept or is it just done now? It's done. Okay. Um, in fact, we can do the engine as well. I think we can afford the engine as well. We've got storage, 15,000 Corona. Yeah, we'll do the engine. Oh, you must do these in order. Okay, so you can purchase any of the lights and stuff and any of the sonars, I assume, but the engine has to be done in a row. So it's not going to cost you 15,000. So there we go, five. It's going to cost us an extra nine. And then we'll do the engine. So there we go. We'll leave it like that. I'm not going to waste any more money because we need to buy bait and stuff later on. Speaking of which, we can go ahead and knock that one. We're going to go to fish market here. This is how much the stuff's going for. So you can decide, right, I'm going to go out and get some red fish, for example. Um, but we can also go buy bait here. Um, we've already done that. So this is the different hook lines we can buy. We've got the 250 hook line and the 500 hook line. Obviously, one's twice as long as the other. Uh, we've got one unbaited line on board at the moment. So what we can do is go ahead and bait that with... Let's do shrimp. 
Once again, I'm not really my knowledgeable on my fishing stuff, so I will be learning as I go along. So if I'm buying the wrong sort of bait and stuff, you guys can tell me off in the comment section down below. Let's go and buy... Let's buy one of these. Let's buy a 500 line. And we're going to bake that up with... Yeah, we'll, do, we'll do shrimp again. So there we go. We've got two lines ready to put out now when we go back out there. So it's 11 o'clock. Let's go ahead and skip time to... I don't want to skip a week. That's 24 hours. Okay. Can you not just speed up time? Okay. So let's head back out onto the boat real quick. Um, it's not been out there for very long, so hopefully we get at least a couple of fish that I can show you guys. Um, like I said, we meant to leave out there for, I think the game said 20 hours was the optimal. You guys have told me what to get in the comment section if you know about fishing and all that good stuff. Um, do recommend playing tutorial missions. I'll probably need to do mine again, if I'm honest, because I tried to rush through it. Right, so we're heading out right now. Let's go ahead and get M. As you can see, the boat is a lot faster than it was now that we have the uh, three engine upgrades. Um, actually, what we can do is turn on the spotlight from the outside here and see how bright it is. There we go. So we got a lot brighter spotlight now. So we didn't actually need to do that. Because I thought we could skip to the night, but apparently not. And um, right, so let's get the map up real quick. We're gonna go ahead and place waypoint. Uh, there we go. Can't go within 100 meters of fishing gear. So let's go ahead and go to about there. Skip over to there. Uh, hopefully it's not too early. Hopefully we can pick it up. Now there is actually a way to tell. So it's only been out there for four hours at the moment, so I don't think it's even going to let us pick it up, but we'll give it a go. Now, folks, we wait a little bit for the fish line just to get a couple more fish on board, hopefully. What I will show you is up in the top corner here. For Like I said, I don't know much about this game, but it does not mean you have to know anything about fishing to play this game. If you just think you're going to enjoy it, you can by clicking on this uh, wiki here. So you can see everything needs... So, like, I need to see, for example, what bait goes with what. So what I can do, for example, is go down to the bottom here. We've got fish, we've got bait, we've got fishing tools, and just general stuff there. So I'm going to go to bait, for example. It will tell me shrimp. And uh, the vast majority of fish species like shrimp, so we can catch mainly anything with shrimp here. Uh, catch probabilities, we can catch 60% chance of catching cod, 20% chance of catching uh, pollock, and stuff like that. So um, this is pretty good. Like I said, people like me that don't really know much about fishing, but you think you're going to enjoy the game anyway. We've got the fishing tools here. Fish quota with a long line fishing. Uh, this will probably say, okay, must be picked up within 48 hours. So, okay, no, it wasn't 20 hours. Close enough. It was 18 hours. So it's close enough. And um, this is what I was looking forward to, to show you guys. So red means not ready to be picked up. Yellow means starting to catch. Green means getting better. Uh, blue means ready to be picked up. And red means will soon be lost. Very low results. So um, I'll come out a bit too early. So what we're going to do actually real quick is go back to the port and then we'll come back uh, tomorrow. Right, okay, everybody, so it is now the next day. As you can see, we've got a bit of rain, so uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves nice and cozy in the boat here. In fact, let's go ahead and go fishing, first of all. So now we're in control of the uh, the boat. What we can do, like I said, is go to first person. We can actually get out and walk around. Uh, let's go ahead and go downstairs real quick. We'll get the furnace on. It's a rainy day, so we want the warmth. And uh, we'll close the door behind us so the rain don't get in. Nice and cozy now as we head out to the sea. In fact, what I'm going to do is turn off the interior light. There we go. Cool. Let's quickly head out to the sea real quick, and our line should be ready. So it's been out there for about 24 hours. We'll find out the exact time when we get out there, how long it's been out. And the sea's quite rocky today. It's quite choppy out here. Quite choppy indeed. Right, so here we are, just past the uh, the breakwater right now. So we're going to go ahead and go to place waypoint. And uh, the fish has actually moved, so we're sort of... Um, Okay, so we're going to set it to 0 0.9 kilometers, which is just out. Eh, we'll go a little bit longer. Now, as you can see, the shape of the circle has changed, and all the, the uh, fish have shifted this way. I'll show you about that in a second. I think I know what's causing that. Um, so there's actually, like... I mean, let me just go ahead and do... Let me just do this real quick. So there's actually like an ecosystem in this game. And what I mean by that is if you catch too many sh uh, fish in one area, you can actually ruin the habitat. So you don't want to stay in one place the whole time or you'll completely ruin the area of fish, which of course is not good. So it's good that we've got stuff like that to think about in this game as well, like habitats and stuff. Um, the fish obviously now know this line's here, so they've shifted to the uh, right a little bit. But as we approach our first line here, let's go ahead and put the boat into neutral. You see we've got a little pickup thing here. So what we can do now is jump out with your can just press e if you want but um there we go would you like to pull in the, the uh, long line no that's the wrong button so what we can do now is get out here can we do this manually i've not actually tried yeah there we go so we do it all manually if we like so i'm going to do it this way because it's uh, like simulation games hence the name would you like to haul the long line yes now this is where the actual fishing starts so this is like a mini game you have to stab the fish right in a minute so i got that one perfect so the blue means perfect, green means good, yellow means okay, and red means missed. 
Uh, missed that one. See, I'm just doing it to show you guys. Um, that was a lie. I just missed. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that one. I, okay, I think the game is broken. Why, why is it not catching? There we go. I think my mouse stopped working then. So we'll quickly get back into the rhythm of this. Okay, now I'm doing it too early. See, the two first couple of uh, fails has made me a bit paranoid now. Let's get back into the rhythm. There we go, perfect. Perfecto. Uh, perfect. See, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty good. Now, there is another option to this, and I'm not sure how YouTube are going to feel about it, but I'm sure you guys want to see it anyway. So after this, after we caught the fish, sorry, there is another another uh, process to do. Uh, well, it's optional. Let's go ahead and do that. I was okay. That was too premature, that one. Pretty premature. Right. We've got 11 here. So this has actually been a good line. We've got 14 on here, which isn't too bad. Not too bad at all. Got on. That one was perfect. How much is left here? It's 13. We've got one more after this. Okay, let's get, see if we can get perfect on this last one. Ready? Oh, we got good. Good enough. Right. So there's our first one. We've got a little uh, catch summary here. So we've got 141 Pollock. Uh, 70 haddock, 16 redfish. Now, this is the bit I was telling you about. Now, look away if you're a bit squeamish. You can say no to this if you want. You can get the fish. Now, I'm going to show you it because it's a full review of the, the start of the game. Once again, this is only the beginning. I'm going to do each boat if I can. I've got to obviously unlock the boat. So, let's go ahead and press start here. So, this is actually a mini game. So, we have to try and keep the knife centered. As you can see, I missed the first one there. Now, it's not just me being an idiot with the mouse. The, mount, the knife is fighting back, and that is the obviously the tide. So as the ship's rocking, or the ship, so if the boat's rocking on the tide, you have to try and keep the knife nice and steady. So that one was actually a five star. I only missed one circle on that one, so I'm assuming it gets quite hard. Let's go ahead and do... Oh, uh, missed that one. There we go. And there is a way to tell which way the knife's going to go. Uh, you probably already saw that then. So these blue dots, I don't know why I'm pointing to the screen like you guys can see. The blue dots on the outside is the motion of the waves, so... Let's go ahead and do that one. So you can see this one's going to... In fact, these are all at the bottom. So we're going to try and keep our mouse up. It's quite hard to do. There we go. That was terrible. But you guys get the idea. That was only a three and a half star cut, that one. Let's see if we can be quick. Eh, that one too bad. Not too bad. That was actually a five star. So there we go. That's all of them done. You don't have to do the whole, like, 200 fish or whatever it was. And that is our first line done. So let's go ahead and... We're actually pretty close. But I want to go to this area here. Look how big this circle is over here so let's go ahead and place our waypoint down here we're gonna go ahead and fast travel here now one thing i would like to see implemented into this game in future in fact there's a couple of things i'd like to see implemented and once again this is still an early access game so things could change um as far as i can see there's no competition i'd like it if there was competition like we had to fight other um other fishing boats to see if we can get a bigger catch than them sort of thing and also i would like to see crab fish in it uh crab Crab pots. Is that what they're called? Crab pots. Would like to see extra sorts of stuff like that then uh, in the future. Even if they're DLCs, I'd happily, happily buy them. Uh, so let's go ahead and drop the gear here. Let's do our 500 one, shall we? So we're going to go ahead and pull forward here. Go, boat. Slowly but surely. Go. So I could have actually used the sonar then to see where's a good place. In fact, there is fish underneath us, so it's not too bad. Not too bad indeed. Okay, so there is our long line out right now. So we're not going to pick it up yet, obviously. Like I said, 18 hours is the recommended. Um, ours are probably going to be about 24 because I'm lazy and I'll have to go ahead and go back to the shore and sleep. Should we actually drop our other line out? We don't want to get too close. Uh, we could do one... Um, I'll tell you what, we'll come down to like here. Now, I'm going to place a waypoint, but I'm not going to fast travel to it. So we're going to go to like here-ish. That should do us. Um, that is going to be on the map now. So let's quickly switch back to the GPS mode here. Um, can we actually zoom in? Yes, we can. Cool. So we're going to try and do this one in first person here. Let's go ahead and pull the throttle back. And there's a click there to say we're now at idle. Let's go ahead and press F to get out. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and turn on the interior lights here. We can turn... Oh, the work lights are already on. Never mind. So I'm assuming that's the lights that are out here. Um, can we drop the line? No, we can't drop the line from out here. Um... Never mind then, we'll do it from in here. Right, drop gear. Uh, we've only got one line left, so we'll go ahead and drop that one. Once again, these are both baited up with shrimp, so hopefully they uh, they work quite well. Okay. 
Okay, so that's our second line done right now. So obviously we need those to cook. Those lines to cook. Um, but as you can see right here, we are pretty low on fuel anyway. So we're going to head back to the dock. So we're going to go back and sell these boxes here. So I think there's a, there's five boxes there that we can go ahead and sell. Um, so let's go ahead and make our way back. So we need to fuel up really bad. Hopefully we, uh, we actually make it. Um, and don't run out of fuel. Of course, if you do run out of fuel or anything, we do have the £10,000 uh, like tow insurance thing, whatever it's called. All right, there we go. Now, can we be lazy and now go over here? Maybe? Yes, yes, we can. There we go. Go back out to here. It's getting quite foggy now. It's getting quite foggy. All right, let's go ahead and turn our lights off here so we can come in. Without being glared. Right. Stop. No, 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 no. We're going too fast. Would you like to dock? Yes, I would. So here we go. We've got all of our fish that we can sell. We've got 141 pollock, 70 haddock, uh, 16 redfish. I think we've lost some fish along the way. I'm not sure how. They must have died in transport. But anyway, we get a little uh, overview at the end as well. So um, we got eight small ones and then we got 133 big ones so wasn't a bad one we've got uh net income that's obviously all of it revenue here for the total fish was twenty two thousand. port reputation um actually whilst we're on this book i can go ahead and show you the events as well so we got different events that happen in the port here so it's currently august haddock season has just started the local government wants to increase the production at local fisheries haddock prices have risen by 20 so there we go you can pay attention to this and you can be rolling in it we've got little extra jobs here simple to learn the basics of fishing that was a tutorial mission another job to learn how to get started with the long line fishing that was a tutorial so extra jobs you may pick up from the pub but this is obviously you get the missions from the pub here like i said at the beginning of the video we've got the gear here which shows us our uh, bait and stuff here sales shows us the page i showed you a second ago what we just saw we've just got certificates here so we've got our boat license here so i'm assuming maybe you have to get bigger licenses for bigger boats i don't know we'll have to look into that and this is the season so it's currently summer um so that's the little uh, notebook that i recommend you guys keep keep hold of it's on here on the left hand side as you can see whenever you need it it's really really cool so i personally really enjoy this game and let's quickly go ahead and skip time i'll actually end the video out there so we'll skip to tomorrow as you can see now, it is uh, pretty good. Actually, I didn't refuel. That was the whole reason we came back. So let's go ahead and buy fuel. Purchase. We'll do that. We can repaint if we want. I'm not going to just yet. Um, so let's go ahead and head out. You don't have any baited lines? Do you want to exit the port? Yes, because we're collecting, we're collecting some. We do not want to put more down. We just want to collect them. So actually, whilst we head out of port, I do want to try this outside steering wheel. Because I've not tried this one just yet. Um, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. So this boat's a lot faster than it was. It's quite strange, actually, because I was driving the uh, normal version on the tutorial quite a lot. So let's go ahead and open this. We'll drive from out here. So there we go. This is now our view, which is pretty cool. Let's close that door. Um, can we go in third person? Yes, we can. So there we are. Still at the back of the boat now. Steering. I wonder if I can add animations for that at some point. Right, let's go and set up our GPS course here. So there's our first line. That one's been out there for 20 hours, so a little bit over. But we've, like I said, we've got like 48 to collect it, so not to worry. Uh, we're going to go about there. We're going to go fast travel. And uh, there we go. They've gone green, which means they're pretty much ready to pick. Blue's the best, but green's good. Right, I actually want to go... Um, no, we'll actually, we'll stay out here when we go to collect these. So where's our first line? The line, by the way, has to be on the right-hand side of the boat. And I can see it. There it is. There's our first line. So we're going to head down this way a little bit. So I cannot wait to test out the uh, Arctic conditions. I'll quickly put a picture, if I remember, on the uh, video now with one of the steam photos showing you what the Arctic conditions look like. Really looking forward to the winter, that's for sure. I think I've updated this boat too much. It feels a little bit too fast. But I'm really looking forward to getting the, uh, the bigger boats as well. Now, I did have one complaint about this game, and that was that it was using up 98% of my GeForce GTX 1080. However, I restarted the game, and now it's not. It's not using hardly any, so maybe, I don't know what it was. I Maybe it was a tutorial? That was terrible simulate. I missed that completely. The waves are actually uh, making me go off course here, which is interesting. So there's a bit of, uh, bit of skill to this after all. It's not just driving up to it and pressing magic buttons. Right, go. Go that way. 
Right, so we'll wheel this last one in and then uh, we'll call it a day here. So yeah, really recommend this video. Once again, big thank you to the devs for letting me check this out. Really do appreciate it. Right, let's go. E. There we go. Pull in the long line. See if we can get some perfects this time. Ready? Uh, perfect. Very good. See if we can get a whole row of perfects. No, we failed already. We failed already. So for those of you that like the techie stuff, this game is using the Unreal Engine, which is pretty good. You guys know if you know about engines and stuff, that's a really nice engine to start off with. Especially when it's done as well as this. And I'm not just saying that because they've asked me to... Well, I asked them if I could look at the game. Right, let's go ahead and do that one. There we go. So yeah, that's one thing I wish they'd add. If, even if it's a DLC in the future, is crab pots. That's something we do quite a lot near uh, me in real life, so... Let's go with that one. Nice. To be fair, crab pots might even be in the game. I'm assuming they're not. But they could be on the bigger boats. I don't know just yet. Like I said, this is the first... This is like just after the tutorial. So I will do an updated video uh, in the future when we've got the bigger equipment. Um, unless you guys want me to do this every now and then. Maybe you guys are enjoying this sort of thing and want to see more of it. Let me know in the comment section and I'll do more of it. Alright, do that one. We're doing not bad. We're not doing bad. I'm not bad at this. It's the uh, the gutting thing I'm pretty bad at. So there we go. Let's do that one. And that one. Final fish. There we go. Storage is full. Okay, so we can't get the second line yet anyway. So we're going to have to go back and upgrade our uh, storage, I think. Would you like to get the fish? Yeah, why not? Why not? So let's go ahead and see if we can do better this time. So... That one's going to go up. This is going to go down. Uh, that was a five star. Look at that. Five star. Oh, it's going to get harder as we go along, I think. Uh, like that. Exactly. It's hard to tell you. It's like, you may not be able to see it, but it's not just me being rubbish with the mouse. It is fighting back with me, which is uh, a bit hard. So I'm trying to do it faster. I found out if you get faster and straighter, it, um, this comes a little bit easier. We missed one then, so it's going to be like a four star. At four and a half. Not bad. Oh, that one was terrible. That one was terrible. There we go, we'll exit that. And, uh, like I said, did it say storage was full? I think it did. How do we get to the storage again? I can't remember. Uh, storage, there we go. Um, age is only 13 minutes. Um, if we go back to the shore, are we going to make it back out to this one in time? I think we will. So, yeah. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to go ahead and collect this uh, pot here off camera. So thank you very much for joining me in this video. Once again, let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more of this. I will post a updated video anyway when I get the bigger boats and stuff for the people that are interested. Once again, big thank you to Miss Game for sending me the key to this. Really do appreciate it. I've been looking forward to this game ever since I saw it on Keymailer. Um, let's go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, I believe Landy Kid's got a video of this as well, so make sure you go to Landy Kid's channel and uh, check his video out. I might be a little bit too close to the uh, waypoint to this. Um... Oh, actually, we're okay. So once again, thank you for joining me. If you did enjoy this video, please slap that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. All the links you need are in the description box below if you want to pre-order it or something yourself or add it to your wish list or follow the game so you can keep up to date with uh, all the news and stuff. Let's go ahead and park this boat. Once again, I've been Simulate Gaming. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. And I'll see you in the next one.